Hey everyone, in this video we're going to do some operations with functions. So we have two functions, f of x equals x squared plus 4x, and we have g of x equals 2x plus 1. And we're going to do several different operations. Let's go through it really carefully. So f plus g of x, that's how you read that. So this is a new function, and to figure this out, all you do is you add them up, okay? So basically, um, I'll, write the, I'll write it down. It's f of x plus g of x. That's actually the definition. Okay, you could have skipped that step, um, but I figured I'd show it to you. So you basically, you just add them. So x squared plus 4x, that's this. And then g of x is 2x plus 1, so that's that. So basically, you just replace them with what they are, and then you just add them. So replace f with what it is, replace g with what it is, and then you can add them up. So this will be x squared plus 6x plus 1, right? Because 4x plus 2x is 6x. Another way to do this problem, and I was going to do it this way when I first started doing it, is you just do it, right? So it's x squared, and then this plus this is 6x, and then 1, right? You just add them up, right? x squared plus this is just x squared. 4x plus 2x is 6x, and then you just have the 1. So you really don't have to show the work here. However, when you get to this one, it gets a little bit sneaky. So it's worth showing the work. So as before, we replaced f with f and g with g. Here's the same thing. This is equal to f of x, except this time it's minus. So it's really important that you have the minus. Okay, so now this is equal to f of x is x squared plus 4x minus, and then it's super important to have parentheses, right? Those parentheses are super important. So this is 2x plus 1. All right, now you can distribute the minus 1. So this will be x squared plus 4x minus 2x minus 1. So minus 2x minus 1. This will be x squared. 4x minus 2x is 2x. And then we have our minus 1. And that's it. So again, just like before, like here we replaced f with f and g with g and we put a plus. Same thing here, right? f with f, g with g, we put a minus. And then just carefully be careful, right? Super careful. This one's much easier. Same thing, replace f with f and g with g. So this is f of x over g of x. f with f and g with g. It always works. And then now just replace f with what it is. f is x squared plus 4x. So x squared plus 4x. And then g is 2x plus 1, so 2x plus 1. Very good. Awesome. Pretty easy. Same thing here, right? Except this time it's times, right? So it'll be f of x times g of x. A little bit more annoying because we do have some work to do. So f of x is x squared plus 4x. So it'll be x squared plus 4x. Good stuff. g of x is 2x plus 1, right? So this will be 2x plus 1. So they're all the same, really. You just basically have different operations. So now we have to distribute. So x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. And x squared times 1 is x squared. All right, so this times this is this. This times this is this. Now you distribute the 4x. 4x times 2x is 8x squared. Almost messed up. Hmm. 4x times 1 is 4x. Let me go over that again just to make sure that I did it right. So x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. Good. 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times 1 is 4x. Boom. We got this. And this is equal to 2x cubed. x squared plus 8x squared is 9x squared. And then we still have the 4x. Beautiful stuff. That is the multiplication of functions. The last one's really easy and I kind of threw it in because a lot of times you see this. Basically, you just plug in one to the answer you got here, right? So this, this will be fg of one. Well, I'll just do it, right? I think we could just plug in the one. This is equal to two times one cube. So just two times one cube plus nine times one squared plus four times one. Basically replacing all of the x's um, with ones, right? So you put a one here, you put a one here, you put a one here, and then so you just get two plus nine plus four. So you get 11 plus four, so you get the number 15. And that's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to you in some way. Maybe it's helped someone out there uh, in the world.